In this class we are going to learn about China aster. Chiastifus chinensis, commonly known as China aster, belongs to family Asteraceae. This is a lovely flowering annual and a popular ornamental plant. This plant is a native of China. This flowering annual is popular among florists and gardeners due to its short duration and wide range of colors. In India it is widely grown in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal and Maharashtra. This is cheaply available cut flower. Let us now see the uses of China Aster. The major uses of China Aster are the following. It is the most popular garden annual, used for flower arrangements, bouquet making and religious offerings. Commercially used as cut flower for interior decorations. It is a popular pot plant. This can be used as herbaceous border in garden and window boxes. Let us now see the general characters of the plant China Aster. It is a half hardy annual flowering plant. Height of plant ranges from 6 inches to 3 feet. Plants are erect with branching habit. Leaves are alternate, broadly ovate with irregularly toothed margins. Now let us see the features of Aster flowers. The flowers of China Aster are solitary. The blooms of this plant contain two kinds of florets. They are disc florets and ray florets. Disc florets are shorter and located at the center of the flower. Ray florets are longer and located in the outer whorl of the flower. Flowers may be double or semi-double. They have star-like flower head. Their colors vary from white to creamy yellow, pink, blue, red and purple. Now we can see different cultivars of China Aster. Numerous cultivars are available for Aster. Cultivars can be grouped based on their size. They are, very dwarf which are up to 20 cm, dwarf which are having a height from 20 cm to 40 cm, intermediate which are of 40 to 60 cm and tall cultivars which are of 60 to 80 cm height. Varieties of China Aster, developed outside India are, bouquet powder puff, Bouquet White, Ostrich Plume, Dwarf Queen, Pinocchio, Dwarf Chrysanthemum, Dwarf Triumph, American Beauty. Here are some of the varieties released from Indian Institute of Horticultural Research. Arka Kamani, Arka Purnima, Arka Shashank, Violet Cushion, Arka Adya and Arka Archana. China Aster varieties released from NARP Research Station of MPKV, Ganeshkind. Pane, R, Full A Ganesh White, Full A Ganesh Pink, Full A Ganesh Violet, Full A Ganesh Purple. China Aster is normally a winter season flowering annual. The day temperature of 10 to 12 degrees Celsius is favorable to develop large size flowers. The color is well developed in the temperature range of 20 to 30 degrees Celsius during day and 15 to 17 degrees Celsius during night with relative humidity 50 to 60 percentage. It needs sufficient sunlight for both better growth and flowering. It needs limited rains, spread over from June to September, followed by provision of frequent but light irrigation. Heavy rains cause fungal disease like leaf spot and wilt. Location and soil suitable for China Aster China Aster prefers to grow in an open sunny location. The crop is susceptible to more water logging, hence well-drained red loamy soils are required. The pH should be around 6.8 to 7.5. Heavy soils with high calcium content are not suitable for growing Aster. China Aster is propagated through seeds. A seed rate of 625 to 750 grams is sufficient for 1 hectare. Seeds can be sown in raised nursery beds or in seed pans. Seeds are sown 10 to 12 centimeters apart and covered with a mixture of soil and FYM. After sowing the beds should be watered gently with rose skin. Here you can see growth stages of aster seedlings after 7, 15, 20, 25 and 1 month after planting.
are ready for transplanting in 30 to 45 days and can be transplanted at 3 to 4 leaf stage. The seedlings are hardened before transplanting. The field should be ploughed thoroughly and brought to a fine tilt. About 10 to 15 tons of well-decomposed farmyard manure may be incorporated in the soil at the time of soil preparation. In areas receiving high rainfall the seedlings should be planted on ridges to avoid chances of fusarium wilt. A general spacing of 30 by 30 cm may be optimum for aster species. Fertilizer can be applied to aster as follows. We can apply FYM at the rate of 10 to 15 tons per hectare and chemical fertilizer at the rate of 90 kg nitrogen, 120 kg P2O5, 60 kg K2O as basal dose. The crop has to be top dressed with 50 kg nitrogen at 40 days after transplanting. Since China Aster is a shallow rooted crop, it needs continuous soil moisture throughout the entire period of crop growth. The crop has to be irrigated once in 4 to 5 days depending upon the soil and weather conditions. Now let us see the special horticultural practices to be followed in Aster. Earthing up. Digging and pulling the soil in between the rows and heaping it around the stem of plants is called earthing up. Earthing up can be done twice at 30 days interval. Pinching It is removal of the growing tips of the vegetative buds to promote bushy growth for more flowering. It is the removal of 3 to 5 cm growing tips when the plants are 8 to 10 cm tall, that is, when the plants are about 1 month old and the second pinching can be done 3 weeks after the first pinching. Pinching of main shoot at 1 month after transplanting promotes growth and flowering. Pinching delays first flowering by 8 to 12 days. Weeding. The crop needs to hand weedings. Use of growth regulators. In China Aster, the number of flowers per plant and the duration of flowering were increased by spraying GA3 at 200 or 300 ppm. Now we can see the major pests and diseases of Aster. Major insect pests of Aster are Prism leaf beetle or pumpkin beetle, Aster semilupa, Aster stem borer, leaf eating caterpillar, leaf hopper, black blister beetle, leaf miner. Non insect pests include red spider mite and nematodes. Major diseases of Aster are Leaf spot Phytoplasma yellowing Collar rot Blight and wilt Flowers are ready for harvesting in 10 to 12 weeks after transplanting Harvesting plays an important role in determining the flower quality Generally in Aster fully opened flowers are considered as harvesting stage China Aster is harvested in two different ways Individual flowers are harvested for decoration and worship purpose as loose flowers, whereas flowers along with stalk or the whole plant just above the ground are cut for cut flower purpose. We will get an approximate yield of 18 to 20 tons of aster flowers from 1 hectare area. Usually a bunch of aster contains 20 flowers. After harvest cut flowers are put vertically in clean water immediately. Then, lower leaves, attached to stalk are removed. Grading of China Aster can be done according to stalk length size and shape of flowers and freshness. Flowers graded are cleaned by removing unwanted leaves and bunches are prepared. A bunch accordates 3 to 5 plants and 25 to 30 bunches are kept together to make one bundle. While packing care should be taken so that no direct contact between flowers and packing material. Clear plastic film improves attractiveness of flowers and provide protection to them during transportation. Aster flowers have good keeping quality and it can be extended by floral preservatives. A holding solution of 0.2% aluminium sulfate and 2% sucrose can be used for prolonging the vase life of aster. I will give you a small tip for improving the keeping quality of aster flowers. A specific odor which is usually generated by China aster stems can be reduced by addition of few drops of formaldehyde in water.
Thanks for watching this video. Hope you understood about the cultivation practices and post-harvest management of China Aster flowers.